What's up guys, welcome to another live stream and I hope all of you are having a peaceful, lovely, incredible, incredible day. You might say, oh dude, why do you say the same thing all the time? <laughs> because I mean, some of my heart my dear friends, uh, if you have a peaceful, lovely, incredible day, then that makes me happy. Because at the end of the day, we all won't have such days. Uh, in our previous video, my dear friends, we covered, um, <clears throat> what? What did we cover? Bruh. Uh, yeah, we covered uh, Bodens Maid, uh, which was super duper romantic, and you guys loved it, and I'm so happy. So it, now, it's time for Ancia Maid, my dear friends. Are you fired up and ready to go to run um, Ancia Maid? Because I am. <laughs> in Ancia Maid, a knight and rook team up to trap the opposing king between the side of the board on one side and a friendly piece on the other. Often the queen is first sacrificed um, along the A or H file to achieve position. So, what does that mean? You might say, my dear friends. Well, in, this is our first position, and we need to, usually we sacrifice the queen on the H on the H file or A file, right? So we, we can see that this is possible here. Pony and rookie deliver checkmate. This is usually on mate. If you think about uh, pony and rookie checkmate, and there is a friendly palm of the opponent, and you, and you drive a checkmate, that is all she wrote. It doesn't mean it, doesn't, it has. It can be vertically or horizontally, as you can see, my dear friends. So in this position, my dear friends, uh, what if I tell you there is made in three? You might say, mm, what the fuck, made in three? Okay, when we calculate mates, first we calculate check, my dear friends. If you wish, you can pause the video and solve it. <laughs> so what we see, we have one check, two checks, and three checks. First, we we, 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 let's try with our safe one. Pony one, pony seven check, king h8. And there is another check, but he will take with the f pawn, not with the h pawn, because you take the king. <laughs> so there is nothing. So we can see that this is this is not doing anything. Because if you go here, um, they go oh, h6. Take, take, but that's only four, right? <laughs> mm. So we, we're looking for mating three. If we, if we go check, king h8, that this is checkmate. Because the point is playing the queen. You might say, oh, dude, this is basic, shut the fuck up. Yes, my dear friends, but uh, after point I stage, they can just take here and king h8. So again, this does not work. And if they go here, then there is rook e8. We still, we still deliver checkmate, but not main tree. This check does not work. We are using the process of elimination, guys. We have we had three candidate moves. Queen takes h7, pony 7 and pony f6. We eliminated the pony moves. Now it's time for the queen. Remember the introduction? Usually, the queen sacrifices itself to, from, to the h file and the a file. Uh, if, you, if you take right away, there is here and there is pony 7, but there is g5. And there's no checkmate. So, the first move, my dear friends, is uh, we remove this can move candidate, we, we remove this move candidate. So, we go check here and we go queen takes h7, sacrificing the queen. King takes h7 and rook h5, checkmate, my dear friends. And, ladies and gentlemen, this is called an Um The rookie, the real checkmate. The pawn is controlling the two escape squares, and there is a, f a friendly pawn, a friendly piece of the opponent. King can't go here because there's a pawn, and the pawn is controlling the critical square. This is, my dear friend, on CMS. It can be both vertically and horizontally. In our next example, my dear friends, we have um, Pogbeer <laughs> against Bio. Um, white is a material up, but their pieces are very, very passive, right? Which is good to see. We have Four pieces attacking. Uh, usually, guys, uh, a rule of thumb, <laughs> uh, an advice from the weakest time. Usually, when you're attacking, you need to have minimum three pieces. My say, oh, the why three? Why not four or two? Because if you sacrifice one, the other two will deliver checkmate. So three is the magical number for attack, my dear friends. <laughs> um, and in this case, black has four, so this has to work. And of course, black has to give check, 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 uh, because uh, otherwise, rookie one, and we will get checkmate. So in this position, my dear friends, Black has uh, a seal mate. You can pause the video and solve it if you wish. In this position, guys, Black has the how to go body to check. The only move is King H1, and then Black Bread, beautiful manding. Whoa, Queen takes H2, sacrificing the Queen and in a seal mate style. King takes H2, haha, to cure Queen, I'm going to resign. No, baby, Rook H4, and she is not riding anymore. Again, as a previous example, a seal mate, my dear friends. Rook is delivers checkmate, uh, points controlling two squares, and there's a family, there's a Palm. And now our next example, my dear friends, we have um, the one and only legend Magnus Carlsen. Yes, he was 2401. You see guys, every grandmaster was once a beginner, a wise master once said, against uh, John Hammer, which is who is to care at the moment. Hammer has played a seemingly natural move, rookie one, trap the rookie. And this is actually a blunder, <laughs> which is amazing. 
You can pause the video and try to solve it. A game idea friend using today tactical patterns. Uh, see ya mate, I was about to say bonus mate. <laughs> uh, Black hat Black found a beautiful, beautiful romantic move and it is Queen H by sacrificing the Queen. You might say, oh dude, why did you not see him, mate? Again, the Queen sacrificed each other to the H file, my dear friend, but this time it, it not on H2, it doesn't take a pound. This got clean and sacrificed, my dear friend. The, look, the rookie could not fly, right? So, you know, Queen H5 clean and sacrifice the rookie can go here. If you take right away, I'm gonna check when you know, baby, take here and King is running because the pony, the Queen is on the black pony. So yeah, your queen h5 and um, white's forced to take, but then rook h4 and die is all she wrote. Again, rookie dealer checkmate, points controlling critical squared in this position in one, and there is a friend, there is a friendly piece. Amazing. <laughs> but I remember when I was young and beautiful, I was like 15 or 14, I was in my village and I was like studying, and I, I, and I thought queen h5 and I said, stop it, the day. <laughs> In our next example, my dear friends, we have uh, Peter Roth against George Rajna. This is very interesting, my dear friends, because it looks like an opening. You might say, how is there going to be a seal mate? My dear friends, that is the beautiful seal mate. Uh, it can, came out of nowhere, like, like, a, like a lightning, my dear friends. In seemingly endgame, in seemingly uh, defensive position, you can sacrifice the queen on, on H foul, A foul, and then deliver... Uh, uh, check with rookie. So usually there are three, sequ three moves with the NCO mate. First one is pony check, second one is queen sacrifice, and third one is rookie checkmate. So these three moves are critical, my defense, remember. In this position, my defense, it's like opening is gone, middle game is gone, queens have changed, and both pieces are. Black has one more move to develop their pieces. And now white has played pony a5. And what if I tell you that there's really, really remaining three moves? Thanks to Black's blunder, the Black will literally get mated. Like you might say, oh dude, even if I Black tried to self mate, there is literally no mate. Yes, my dear friend, this is the beauty of chess and see mate comes to action. Here, Black played the blunder, castle, and if your heart desires, you can pause the video and find mate in three. In this position, guys, uh, White played body seven check, um, King H8, and no, can get some sacrifice in the rookie. Yes, it doesn't have to be always queen. This, in this time, it's a rookie, King H8, seven, and Rook H8. Again, the point is controlling two squares, and Rook is living. Checkmate. Please, my dear friends, beware of unsealment. It can happen out of nowhere. And I was about to say, in our next example, but in this, in, in this case, my dear friends, we have a surprise. Uh, our, our today question is, my dear friends, um, how many planets are in our solar system? In our next example, my dear friends, we have um, um, Milan Widmer against Max Ewe, legend. <laughs> Max Ewe, legend. And this one person is legend, true. So, we are running unseal mate, and we saw the unseal mate only in a vertical way. Um, but now, as I said, it can be in horizontal way. You can pause the video and find the beautiful money sequence by white. When you're calculating tactics, always begin with checks, my dear friends, because we're getting made like never before. <laughs> so we need to be fast, concrete. Mm. That's what she said. You need to be fast. Oh well, yeah, I said something stupid now. Then it's not gonna take me back to Mars. <laughs> You can pause the video and try to solve it. If you go to the 8, uh, there's King H7, right? And there's only one check, so you, have, you got up, right? And Rook H8, brilliant put for a draw, my dear friends. King, you take it on take, so you got Queen F8 here and Queen 7 checkmate. But here, Black has that, you have to go King G6 with all due respect. I don't want Rookie, I want to run with King, aka King Attack! So yeah, King G6, and the only move not to lose is Queen G6 actually, and Pawn H4, but nobody played Pawn H4, even amongst girls. Bruh. Yeah, and if they go Rook J, then King takes F5, and White can resign with Chain. Does it here? And it's it's draw, but I would take Black actually, because take, take, take. Uh, the Rook is cut, King can attack, and those guys are runners. Um, so yeah, Rook J is not working. What other check we have? We have Queen F8 check, which is weird, and Pony F7. If Pony F7, they just King G7. Pony F5, and they just take. So, Rook J is draw, Pony F7 is losing. Um, what else could we do? <laughs> In this position, guys, why had the audacity of hope to go? Queen F8 sacrificing the queen. I think, what the fuck is this move? It did not even close my mind. My dear friends, when I was young and beautiful, I absolutely did not solve it. This is a beautiful money queen sack. If they don't take the queen, queen just ends all she wrote. I had to kill queen, but what is that? What is this, my dear friends? Point controlling two squares. There is a, a friendly piece, and there is a rookie who delivers checkmates. That is unsealed, mate, but. The rookie is delivering checkmate 
in the horizontal manner. Beautiful, beautiful, my dear friends. In our next example, my dear friends, we have a very beautiful mantle puzzle. It's black to move, my dear friends, and if you wish, you can pause the video and try to solve it. <laughs> um, usually, guys, in games, we don't have the luxury to know that there is a checkmate incoming or a tactical pattern. But knowing patterns, knowing the name of the pattern, uh, you will actually suddenly will accidentally click and you will find them. Um, trust me, my dear friends, I, I know you love doing puzzles because it's easy and there's always a solution. But during chess game, there's not always a solution, so it's more difficult. That's why knowing the names of the checkmates, knowing the patterns, doing them will help you tremendously, my dear friend. It's like, wow, they will boost. In this position, my dear friends, you see that if you go upon E2, they will check. If the king is on the H5, we can do a checkmate, right? But the point is controlling is to go E2 square. What does that mean? It's time to detect in this position, black had the audacity to go queen takes f1 and then also try to give us brilliant sacrificing the queen. Uh, no, if they go here, that, that's what she wrote. Okay, just checkmate. But they have to take, haha, I took your queen, what you're gonna do? Body to check, my dear friends. In the, does that sound like I can see it? Oh yeah, I did, my dear friend. King h1, and now we go rook h6 check, my dear friends. They have to go with the pony, and now, I know you saw this move, my dear friend. In a seal mate style, we had that hot go rook h2 sacrifice in the rookie. Excuse me. To deliver a seal mate, my dear friends. Beautiful. Pony covering two squares. Pony covering two squares. Um, a friendly piece of, of, of the opponent and a rookie driving checkmate. Beautiful, beautiful guys. We sacrifice a queen. Um, we deliver check, sacrifice a rookie, and deliver checkmate. Beautiful man to check my dear friends. In our next example, my dear friends, which is super duper complicated, but it's very, very important. It's between uh, Suryu Marklane against Tau Baron. You can see that White has played a natural development move on h3. Usually, those moves are not bad because if White Black takes, then B takes h3, and White will have the bishop pair advantage in just way. Bruh. Um, yeah. Uh, so. Usually those goods are good, especially in the opening. What if I tell you that our dear friend Marceline found checkmate pattern and seal In this position, the opening has just been completed and Black found the tactical pattern and seal That is the beauty of it. Please, my dear friends, pause the video and try to found a very, very strong sequence of moves that you read on seal -mate. Almost everything is forced. In this position, white black start a beautiful romantic sequence just to do a seal mate with Bishop <laughs> takes a3 uh, changing the um, uh, pony and the thing is critical c3 square. Ooh, ooh, stop it, my dear friends. Uh, B takes a3, pony c3 attacking the bishop, but most importantly, threatening to flick d4 key. So white is forced to take the queen to hg6. There's a queen h4 move, but it's just f6. Queen takes h6, and now we take with which pound? Of course, with the h pound, preparing the seal mate, my dear friends. And plus, so uh, the bishop is stuck. White has, oh, okay, I just defend the bishop. What are you going to do? Bishop c4, how? Oh, bishop is stupid. say, then what do we do? You remember the sequence? Pony, a sacrifice, rookie. Pony to check, king h1, and now you cannot fly, right? So take, take, there is not king. King d7, and believe it or not, my dear friends, white resigned in this position. There is no way to stop the seal, mate. So look at that, my dear friends. Here in this position, black. Something clicked that there is a seal mate. They took, took, point c3, take, 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 pony two here, here, and king d7. And white was forced to resign because h3 to stop and seal mate, rotate h2. There is rook takes h2 using the pin, my dear friends, because they cannot take, so I take the king. So that's checkmate. If they go g3, you take the king. If they go f3, my dear friends, there's a good rook takes h2, take, and that's all she wrote. So yeah, my dear friends, actually, king d7, white was forced to resign. There, there is no defense. Rook test h2 is absolutely unstoppable. They go for the rook test h2. Stop it, baby. King test h2 and the game. Uh, rookie delivering checkmate, point controlling, and a friendly pound. Amazing, amazing sequence. That's why knowing patterns is vital, my dear friends. In our last example, my dear friends, we have Kiana Voronova against uh, Hong Hyung. <laughs> I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce your, uh, your name, dear. Uh, it's Vietnamese name. Um, it's a short game, but I'm going to show that it, it can even, and Siamet can occur even in openings. 
Why start with e4, e5, pawn f3, pawn c6, bishop e5, opens, uh, this is Spanish, opening a6, bishop a4, pawn f6, castle, take, rook e1 here, pawn c3, take, then that's a blunder, check here, pawn d5, castle, and now they can just win the piece, take, a white, uh, black was a piece, here, queen h5, d5, opening their pieces, and here, you can pause the video and found the move, in this position, white played, <laughs> no, you can write in the comment, my dear friends, uh, if you have desires, what is the move here? And this is it, my dear friends. This was an CMA. I hope those examples, um, I hope those examples show you showed you what is an CMA, so like you can use it in your game. I know a lot of lots of good players who deliver this checkmate, but they don't know the name. So if they read it in a book or in an article, they won't understand actually. So knowing the name of the typical checkmate is vital. Um, Go speed, my dear friends, go in the ladder, go play some chess, uh, go do some CMAs. Um, when I say the ladder, I mean the pool, it's time StarCraft player. <laughs> um, go in the ladder, guys, try it, you love it. Um, thanks so much for watching, my dear friends. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to improve my views every single time. <laughs> um, and I'm really trying. Uh, the best content for you I try to do. I know I'm very, very far off from that, but I'm trying. <laughs> um, don't forget to wash your hands, play at peace, love and happiness, my dear friends, and I can't wait to see you in the, in the next video. Thanks so much guys for watching. Bye-bye.